of live stream from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I'm John Mitchell and I'm here with Rob Engie and we are just so blessed to be part of this great gospel crusade. Right now, Eddie and the worship band are, 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 are on stage and you're having a sneak peek of this great worship album that's been recorded live. You're gonna wanna make sure that you get a copy of this album. And you can do that by going to cfan.org and you can get a copy of the worship album before it's released in 2019. We have just been so blessed, Rob, by what happened last night. It's just awesome what God has done. Now, if you go to cfan, that's cfan.org, you can order that worship album right now. You don't want to miss it. I tell you, it was anointed worship. That worship band was absolutely amazing, absolutely powerful. The crowd was going wild. Now, we want to make sure that everybody that's watching this live stream, share it with your friends and with your loved ones. Go to hashtag CFANLive, hashtag CFANLive, and share it on Facebook, all your social media outlets. What God is doing here tonight is just absolutely wonderful. This album is going to be amazing, Rob. I tell you what happened last night was just powerful. It really was, John, and the amazing part is it's like we're just going from glory to glory. I'm sure you can see the crowd right now behind us. John, it looks like it's doubled in size. Yep. It's absolutely amazing, it and the reason that is is last night, Evangelist Kalenda preached on the blood of Jesus, yes. and he broke curses in the region, and we had a, a barrel-burning ceremony. Right. Everybody brought their witchcraft, their juju, awesome. and we just lit it on fire, and the crowd just absolutely erupted. Everybody was dancing around the barrels. It was like freedom absolutely came over this amazing. entire crusade field. And the miracles, John, yeah. were absolutely remarkable. I just want to read a few of them to you. There was a man who was totally deaf in both ears, and he testified that he received hearing in both ears. We had a local pastor bring a woman up to the stage who said that she was absolutely insane. She was crazy, so much so yep. that she used to walk the streets of Port Harcourt absolutely naked. She was not in her right mind. She came to the platform, John, yep. dressed absolutely beautiful. She was in her right mind, and she testified how now that Jesus restored her and that she could understand. There were women that came that had lumps on their breasts, and they said during the meeting, the lumps just vanished. They were gone. Jesus healed them. And then we had another woman who said that she had a stroke during childbirth, and she had paralysis on the entire right side of her body. And John, this one brought us all to tears. She stood there. She could barely even put her emotions right. into words, and she began weeping. Yes. And when Evangelist Kalenda asked her, Mama, why are you crying? She said, they're just tears of joy. John, I broke. It was absolutely amazing. amazing. It's been powerful. incredible just to see just the hand of God and the Holy Spirit move across this crusade field. Like I said, people are literally running as we speak to come and see what God is going to do. And, and we have this worship combined with the powerful gospel going forth. We've seen salvations. So again, I just want to encourage you. Let everyone know that we're here and that you can watch us live on hashtag CFANLive. This is the final night that you can watch us on the live stream. So that's hashtag CFANLive. And again, it's been incredible, but the beauty of what has been taking place here is that we've had evangelism nonstop, nonstop. for the last six amazing. weeks. We've sent teams of evangelists. They've utilized our gospel trucks. They went to the villages. They went to the markets. They went to the streets. They went to the schools. And the reports are in, John, yep. that just in that short six weeks, we've already seen 10,000 salvations. Yes. It's been remarkable. And we could not do this without you. And so we want to encourage you and ask you to become a partner and join the movement of what God is doing in the ministry of Christ for all nations. Evangelist Galenda yep. has made it known, John, that we have a vision to yes. see a decade of double harvest. Yes. Since 1987, the ministry of Christ for all nations has seen 78 million souls, not just saved, but ushered into the local church. And so now we wanna see that double in the next 10 years. You can learn more about that journey on 150 million 
www.thepatriotsocialist.org. And I tell you, every penny counts. Every dollar counts. We average it that it's yes. about $1 per soul. Look at these precious souls behind us. And the thing is, is we've only heard a fraction of the testimonies that came forth. There Absolutely. were still lines of people wanting to come and testify about what God did. You can't even put a price tag on that. So for a dollar, you can contribute to what God is doing. And so we're going to continue to move from here. We're going to Awari, Nigeria. We're taking more evangelists. We're taking more teams. Yes. We're going to take this gospel as, the, as you continue to support us and pray for us. It's nonstop. We're going to keep moving from glory to glory, and it's going to be absolutely remarkable. So once again, we want to thank you for partnering with us. We want to thank you for standing with us, and we want to encourage you to continue to pray and believe that we get breakthrough. John, yeah. you, what you're seeing right now is amazing, but it's not met without challenges. That's right. This crusade literally has almost not taken place, but because it's prayers and perseverance that we're able to break through, and we're going to continue to do that tonight. Amen. And you know what? We don't want you to miss one single minute. So we're going to go right now live to Eddie James and the worship band. Be blessed. He's turning your sorrow to joy. When you leave this crusade, you will never be the same. You will never be the same. You the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout joy! Let's go. 
gonna do a taste of this and then I gotta move on. You should have been there when I came to. Church was on fire, Holy Ghost too. From the top of my head, soul of my feet, from the spirit moving all over me. So you should have been there when I side of praise. There's victory on the other side of praise. There's deliverance on the other side of praise. Somebody's getting a miracle right now. Somebody's getting delivered right now. Somebody's getting healing right now. And I want you to praise the healer. Praise the deliverer. Praise the chain breaker. In the name of Jesus. One, two, one, two. When I think of his goodness, what is that for me? So back home we say, if you got it, I got it. let me see you wave your hand.
Feel Nigeria right now. Lift up your shout in this. From the rising of the sun, you're worthy. To the setting of the same, you're worthy. From age to age, for the rest of my days, you are worthy to be praised. Worthy.
to the setting of the same you're worthy from age to age for the rest of my days you are worthy to be
Amen. Come on, somebody say thank you, Jesus. Make best talk, thank you, You're Jesus. You're worthy to be praised. Now you is supposed to praise. Come on, turn to your neighbor and say you came to the right place tonight. Tonight is your night for a blessing. Tonight is your night for a miracle. Tonight is your night for salvation. This night now your night for salvation. Come on, give your neighbor a hug. Make you hug your neighbor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a wonderful night. Now nah, better night over this so. And I tell you, it just keeps getting better and better and better. And they tell you, they better they go, they better they go, they better they go. I don't know go. what problems you came with tonight. I don't know the problem where you come here this night. But I can tell you one thing. But I will tell you one thing. When you go home, that's the go house. So you're gonna go saved. You can't go. You can't save. Delivered. You can't deliver. Healed. You can't heal. And filled with the Holy Ghost. You lose me. You can't feel In you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want to remind you that all over the world tonight, people are watching us on the internet and on television. I want to make you remember, say, for the whole world this night, people, they watch us for television. They watch I wonder us on if internet. you would just wave at the crowds of people that are watching I'll make it on television. Wave. Make it your hand. Say a big them. hello from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Make it talk hello from Port Harcourt, for Nigeria. We welcome you to the live stream. We do welcome you and we do watch on television. And we pray that the Lord will encounter you right there as you watch. We do pray may God come meet you for that place where you did as that he watch. encounters us here on this field. As he not come make us, we don't meet them for here too. I also want to say something very special. I want to talk something very important too. Today is a very special day and I tell you why. This is today an important day and I'm going to tell you what it means. Today, my second born child, who is also my oldest daughter, is turning 13 years old. Now today we'll be say my second picking. We'll be saying at the picking way she begin nine old past. She don't become 13 years. Today is her birthday. Today is her birthday. And I'm here. Now they here. And so she has given me to you. And she don't carry me, can't give you so. So I wonder if we could do something very special for I her. I wonder what I will go do something Would important you help way. me in singing happy birthday to Gloria? If you can't help me, can they sing happy birthday to Gloria? Will you do that? If you help me do am. Eddie, the greatest singer in the world, will you lead us? Eddie will be the better singer for the whole world. Make you help us. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gloria. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. And thank you to all of you. You're such beautiful singers. I thank all of you. I'm happy sing well well. Gloria, I love you. Gloria, I like you well Happy well. birthday. Happy birthday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, can we put our hands together for Eddie James Maybe and his team? For Eddie James and the people Haven't there. they done an amazing job They're here this week? They've done a job for this place this week. How many of you are ready to hear the word of God tonight? I'm enough for now. We don't get into God God the word this night. I want to get right to it. I want to make you enter I'm straight. Because I believe the Lord is going to speak to many of your hearts because tonight. I say God will talk plenty for heart this night. This is what the Bible says in the book of, of Proverbs. See what in Bible talk for inside book of Proverbs. It says that righteousness exalteth a nation. See now righteousness they carry nation they go up. And I believe that righteousness is going to lift up. Port Harcourt tonight in Jesus' name. And they believe, say, righteousness will go up up this night in Jesus' name. Say amen. Make it talk amen. I'm going to be reading tonight from the book of Luke chapter 19. I go read from inside the book of chapter, uh, Luke chapter 19. And I'm going to be reading the story of Zacchaeus. And I go to read the story of Zacchaeus. I'll just read it. You don't have to interpret, okay? How many of you understand me, okay? I'm not you understand. Okay, I'm going to read this scripture to you, and I want you to follow along as best you can. Luke chapter 19 and verse 1. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, but he could not because of the crowd, because he was of little stature. And so... He ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see Jesus because Jesus was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he saw Zacchaeus and he said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today I will stay at your house. And Zacchaeus made haste and came down 
and received Jesus joyfully. But when the people saw it, they began to complain, saying that Jesus had gone to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man, by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day salvation has come to this house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Say amen. Make you talk amen. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this story and then I begin to preach, okay? Then I go talk small, small about this story, then I will come preach. The first thing I want you to understand is the, the place where Zacchaeus was living. The first thing I want you to understand is the place where Zacchaeus was living. Zacchaeus was a Jewish man who lived in the ancient nation of Israel. Zacchaeus now, a Jewish man, maybe say, in the day for the olden days, a uh, place where Israel did. And at this time in history, Israel had been conquered by the Roman Empire. But this time we would say so, Israel, Roman Empire, don't come conquer them, come take over them. The Romans were forcing the Jewish people to take, to pay taxes. The Roman, then they forced the Jewish people, them, maybe they pay money, they give them maybe tax. And nobody likes taxes. And nobody likes it, they pay tax. And so the Jewish people didn't like the Romans very much. So the Jewish people, them, they don't like Romans them at all. But Zacchaeus was not a Roman. But Zacchaeus not be Roman person. He was a Jew. Not Jew, him be. But he was working for the Romans. But they work for the Roman people. Collecting taxes for them. They collect taxes for them. He them, was a traitor. And if people. the Jews hated and the, the Romans, and the Jews would hate the Roman people, they hated Zacchaeus ten times more. They can't hate Zacchaeus. Pass the way they won't hate them ten times. Now the Bible says that Zacchaeus was a rich man. Bible talks says Zacchaeus now man we get money. Everybody say a rich man. Make it up, person we get money. How many of you would like to know how he made all of his money? I don't know. I don't know. I would like to know how person can make that money and get so. I think I will tell you. Me I go tell you now. I think it was like this. I think it's like this. What happened? Let's say that you had to go to pay your taxes to Mr. Zacchaeus. Maybe we talk, say maybe we can't go pay our tax, won't give Mr. Zacchaeus. He would do his calculations. We can't calculate the thing where, where. He would see how much you owe. We can't see how much you're supposed to pay, where they owe. And he would see that you owe 50,000 naira. He would say, they owe 50,000 naira. He would say, give me 100,000. He would say, make it give me 100,000. 50,000 for the Romans? 50,000 at the Romans, get them. 50,000 for his pocket. 50,000 at my pocket, get them. If you owe 100,000, if you owe 100,000, he would say, Give me 200,000. He would say, Make give me 200,000. 100,000 for the Romans. 100,000, the Roman get them. The other 100,000 for his pocket. The other 100,000 are for him pockets. I think that Mrs. Zacchaeus was a very talented tailoress. I did think say that Mr. Uh, Mr. Zacchaeus, now nah, person will be saying get talent for that kind of party. She day. had sewn wide pockets in Mr. Zacchaeus' trousers from the hips down to the ankles. So she don't get uh, pocket, pocket will be saying he bigger way for Zacchaeus because I go to the end inside. Many pockets where he could put stolen money. Plenty, plenty pocket will be saying go pick him when he put there. When he went to work in the morning, he was as thin as a pencil. When he go work for morning, he would like pencil with this small like that. They were when go. he came home at night, he was as fat as an I think come back for nine days. We come fat like person with fat where All the stolen money all, in his pocket. All the thief money we not if they for inside pockets. There he would approach the doors of his mansion. He go come go the house where he keep the door. Come get the door. Servants were greeting him. People come they greet him. People the servants they go greet him. Please come inside. They go say okay, it's going to inside. He would come in. He go come inside inside. And there was a big table in the living room. And table where bigger where they for where people they stay for house. Beautiful table. Table will find where and there is a kiss with empty his pockets. There's a kiss to conquer his pocket. Can they drop the All money? All of that stolen they naira. Money went out if they drop him. And then he and his wife would count the money until the sun went down. Him and his wife would count the money until the sun go down. Is that night go cover? Finally, when the day was over, when the day don't come finish, he would put his arm around his wife. Go conquer your uncle with his wife, buddy. They would look at their piles of money on the table. They would look the money with and get a big way for table. And he would say, "Sweetheart." They would say, "My wife, where where?" Today was a good day. Today not better day. Zacchaeus was a rich man. Zacchaeus, my man, we get money. But I want you to know something tonight. This but is I very want, important. But I want to make you know something. This is not really important. Well, well. How many of you know that there are some problems that money cannot solve? How many of you know that there are some problems that money cannot solve? Did you know that? You know that one? Did you know there are some things that money cannot buy? You know, say some things there will be say money no go fit buy. For example, you could buy the most delicious fufu. Like, you know, say you go fit buy fufu, sweet, well, well now. But you cannot buy the appetite. But you know, if you buy, say you go hungry. 
You could buy the most comfortable bed. But you cannot buy a peaceful night's sleep. There are some problems that money cannot solve. Not even all the money in the world. And Zacchaeus had a problem that his money could not solve. And I will tell you what it was. Every night when Zacchaeus lay down in his bed. He closed his eyes. He would drift off to sleep. Sleep, they go. And there in his dreams, For in dream, then, he began to see faces. You to see people face. Faces of the people whom he had stolen. The people face, they say, not their money. He saw the faces of children that were starving. Because he had taken money from their don't parents. Them money from the people, their parents the he saw the people who he had hurt. He don't see people, say, don't make them and he would wake up from this nightmare with cold sweat he on go, his face. He can't wake up from this kind of bad thing with sweat. In the go. corner of his house. For in, corner for the house in the for the darkness. House. For inside the darkness there. He felt like he could see demons crawling through every corner. He was tormented in his heart. Mind. He was tormented in his mind. He had no peace in his life. No get peace in life eh? He often talked to his wife. He talked to his wife plenty of time. He said, "Sweetheart, I wish I could find peace." He said, "My wife, well, well, I they wish that they could I wish peace. that I could buy peace. I wish that I could money come buy peace. I have so much money. I get plenty money, but I have no peace. But I no get peace. So he said, "If I could find a way to buy peace, if I can see where we say I can buy peace, I would spend all of my naira to buy it." I go carry out this naira, I get used by him. Zacchaeus so had no peace in his heart. He has no get peace in his He had no peace in his home. He no get peace in his house. And he had no peace in his life. He no get peace in life. Eh? Because the Bible says there is no peace. Because Bible does say peace no day for the wicked. For persons who are wicked, you understand. You understand that one. One day, Mr. Zacchaeus was sitting in his tax office. One day, Mr. Zacchaeus sat for in tax office. There with the collector. One man money. came inside. One man come inside. He was there to pay taxes. He won't come pay tax when they owe. Zacchaeus did all of the calculations. Zac Zacchaeus got to calculate everything. He said, "Sir, you owe me two hundred thousand naira." He said, "Sir, you owe me two hundred thousand naira." So how much did he charge him? How much we not charge him? Four hundred thousand. Now four hundred thousand. I not count charge him now. Two hundred thousand for the Romans. Two hundred thousand for the Romans. Two hundred thousand for his pocket. Two hundred thousand for your pocket. So the man began to count the money. So the man who count the count the money they go. And as Zacchaeus was taking his money, the man began to talk. As the Zacchaeus they collecting money, the man called to talk something. The man said, "Have you heard the news?" The man called to say, "Don't you have anything that happened?" Jesus is coming to town today. Jesus, they come this village, this area today. Zacchaeus kept counting his money. Zacchaeus need to count the money they go. Jesus, he said. Jesus, he talks. Who is Jesus? Who be Jesus self? Does he also need to pay some taxes? He says, can pay some tax. No, the man said. The man will say, no. Haven't you heard of Jesus? You never know who Jesus be. They say that he is the Messiah of the Jews. They say that he the person who can save us from Jews. They say that he heals the sick. They say that he heals people the sick. They say that he raises the dead. They say that he raises the dead. They say that he gives sight to the blind. They say, they carry people in the they they say that, that he the causes the cripples to walk. They say that they make in, the waka, the waka. in fact, the man said, I heard a story. In fact, I can't wants to give away that he was on the Sea of Galilee. Say, waka, in the for sea for Galilee and a storm there. was about to sink his boat. Say, the song, they, they, they won't press in boat. And he stood waka. up in the boat. He, get up the boat yeah. he opened his arms. He and, he open them. and he said, Peace. He said, Peace. 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 Peace still. Peace, Peace day one side. And the wind the and the waves obeyed him. The breeze and the water come sitting with him talk unto him. Hallelujah. Amen. When Zacchaeus heard the word peace, he dropped all of his naira. When Zacchaeus come here, the word they call peace. He can't drop all the money. Oh, what did you say? What did you talk from out? What did you say? What did you talk from out? Did you say the word peace? You talk that to the call peace. Did you say Jesus can give peace? You thought that Jesus can give me peace. Did you say Jesus can give peace? Did you say Jesus can give peace? Well, the man said, this is what I've heard. The man said, I don't be that. But don't take my word for it. Me no carry my words and I talk I'm old. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Why don't you go see for Maybe yourself? Go use your eyes, see him. Zacchaeus said, thank you very much. Because God, thank you, Eric. For this valuable information, I give you a 50% discount. For this kind of don't contact me, I'll give you a discount for 50%. You don't go pay 50%. He locked the door. He can't lock the door. He went out into the streets. He can't enter, enter streets. All of the people were moving in one direction. All the people that go to Waka, they go one side. All were flowing to the center of Jericho. All of them, they walk out to the center for Jericho. Zacchaeus was in the crowd. Zacchaeus didn't the people then. All going to the center of Jericho. All of them, they go to the center for Jericho. And when they arrived, and when they come, the a app. large crowd had gathered. Plenty of people don't gather. Jesus Jesus was somewhere in the middle of that Jesus crowd. Was there for the center for the crowd. But Zacchaeus could not see. But Zacchaeus no not see him. Do you know why? You know what he make? Because Zacchaeus had a problem. Because Zacchaeus had one problem again. You know what his problem you was? Know the, problem with him be? the Bible says he was a very small man. The Bible talks in a small man, no tall. 
Now, I don't know how small Zacchaeus was. I don't know how Zacchaeus guy small is. But I can tell you one thing. But I feel you one thing. Even a very small man even can man be a very big thief. Say even man very small where we go fit thief money where we big. Zacchaeus was a big thief. Zacchaeus not a big thief when big. But he was only a small man. Not a small man when big. And so as he stood in the crowd, as he can stand for your people plenty. All he could see was the back of the man in front of him. People for waiting for him for going to. He was jumping. In the jump, they tried to jump. He was looking. In the tried to look. But he was too small. But he's small where where. Suddenly he had an idea. Now one time he got an idea. He got a look. And in the distance he could see. For far he got to see something. There was a tree. Say pretty day. So he had an idea. Because I know it's not good. He took his elbows. He got an elbow. He pushed his way through. He went to that tree. Go where the tree day. And one two three like a monkey he went into the tree. Like monkey now walk up here 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 enter the tree. He climbed to the tallest branch. He got climb go enter the branch with top us. And there he sat. He got sit down there. Now he could see. Now he got to see where. There was Jesus. He got to see Jesus. Jesus opened his mouth and began to speak. Jesus can open his mouth, can start to the talk. And I don't know what he was saying. I don't know what in the talk oh. But it was probably something like this. Maybe in the talk something like this. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after so righteousness. They bless those who are hungry, where they find righteousness. For they shall be filled. So they will go and they feed. Blessed are the poor in spirit. So those who are there, they to God. For they theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So because now then we get kingdom of heaven. And he began to say these words. He began to talk this thing then. And they were words. And they were them. The but they were more than words. But then pass no matter talk like because this. Because when Jesus spoke, because when Jesus they talk, Zacchaeus could feel something coming out of him. Zacchaeus could feel something they come out for him. But it was beyond description. Pass what thing go fit talk. It was so powerful. Yes, friends. Where where? Zacchaeus sat there stunned and mesmerized. Zacchaeus could then could they surprise? Think come confused. Suddenly he realized something. Think come discover something. For the first time. See, for the time it don't happen for the first time. He had peace. He won't get peace. As Jesus was speaking, as Jesus they talk, they go. He could feel peace. He they feel peace for him, buddy. And then Jesus was done. Jesus can't finish. He finished his teaching. He can't talk to the talk. Don't he turned this. around and began to walk. He can't talk back on the walker. They go. And as Jesus was walking away, as Jesus the walker, they go. Zacchaeus' heart was breaking. Zacchaeus had gone to walk in because somehow Zacchaeus knew. Because one thing comes, Zacchaeus can't know say that this man, say this man, so this Jesus, this Jesus was his only hope. Now the only thing we can get to you survive. The only man, the only man eh, that could give him peace. You go guy, peace give him. And Jesus was moving away. Jesus, they walk out, they go. And Zacchaeus' heart was breaking. Zacchaeus' mind can't walk in. And then suddenly something amazing happened. Now one time something where they Jesus stopped. Happen. Jesus can't stop. He turned around. He can't turn back. He began to walk in the other direction. Good, the good side. Straight towards that sycamore tree. And as Jesus got closer, Zacchaeus' Jesus got closer. Jesus got closer. Zacchaeus' heart began to beat faster. Zacchaeus' mind began to blow boom, boom, and boom, faster. Boom, 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 and boom, faster. Boom, 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 boom. Like this. Boom, 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 Jesus came underneath the tree. Jesus going to enter under the tree. Zacchaeus froze. <gasps> Zacchaeus going to do hey. Jesus lifted up. His Jesus going to get up in eye. And this is what he said. This is what he can't talk. Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down out of that tree. Make you come down, come up for that tree. Today I'm going with you to your today house. I will follow you go your house. My friend, let me tell you something today. My people make a on today, today Jesus is going to go with you to your house. Jesus will follow you go your house. Say today, amen. Amen. Make you talk, amen. Well, I tell you, one, two, three, like a little monkey, Zacchaeus came out of that tree. And they say, stop, stop. Zacchaeus come up for that tree. Like, Jesus okay. took him by the hand. Jesus go for hand. And they began to walk they together. They walk out together. Hand in hand. Hold the hand, they go. Jesus Jesus and Zacchaeus. Jesus and Zacchaeus. Hand in hand. They hold their hand, they go. The Savior and the sinner. The person with the Savior, person hand the in hand. They hold their hand, they go. Jesus and Zacchaeus. Jesus and Zacchaeus. And suddenly, now one time, Zacchaeus had a thought. Zacchaeus can say, I know it's not good to do. Wait a minute. Because they wait to, he thought to himself. He can't tell himself. How is it possible so he can't carry me. that Jesus knows my name? Say, Jesus can't know my name. I never told Jesus my name. I never told Jesus my name before now. I never met Jesus before. I never seen Jesus before. How does he know me? I ain't got you know me. The thought intrigued him. They got their walking and they suck him. They kept walking. They seen the walk hand in hand. They hold their hand. And then they came to the gates of the mansion. They come reach the gate to the big house. They. Servants welcome them. Servants they come to welcome and say, Zacchaeus welcome. brought Jesus inside. They come to carry Jesus to go inside. And took him to that big beautiful table. Here, go to find Here table master. They see your guys sit down. Here is the seat of honor. See this sit down with honor day. And Jesus sat on one side. Jesus comes down for one side. Zacchaeus sat on the other Zacchaeus side. Zacchaeus comes down for the other side. And they were looking into each other's eyes. They come to look each other's eyes inside. He could still feel. 
that feeling he had while Jesus was teaching. Instantly, they feel that same thing when they see when Jesus was preaching. He looked at Jesus. As he looked at Jesus, he could feel peace and in his heart. Peace for inside mind, settlement inside. And suddenly, and then one time, that feeling was broken. The feeling can't break because a second thought came because to his mind. Because another thing came mind. He said, "Wait a minute." Because he make you wait, to Wait a minute. Make you wait. If Jesus knows my name, if Jesus know my name. Even though I didn't tell him my name. Even though I don't tell him my name. Oh. Then Jesus must also know that I am the biggest thief in Jericho. If Jesus knew my name. If Jesus know my name. Then he must know that this is the table where I count all of my stolen naira. And suddenly he knew what he must do. The Bible says he stood up. And this is what he said. Behold Lord. As of this day. I'm giving half of everything I own to the poor. And if I have stolen anything. I will repay four times more. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus stood up. Jesus don't get up. He said, "Congratulations, Zacchaeus. Don't do well, my brother. Today, salvation has come to your house. See, today, salvation not going to enter inside your house. And my friend, I tell you today, salvation will come to your house. And as I tell you, well. salvation will enter your house too. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let me talk to you very quickly about what happened. Let me talk to you about something. I want you to understand this. What do you not understand? This is. Zacchaeus was a very smart man. Zacchaeus, my man, was smart. Was this is how he had become so rich. I think I get plenty money. He was very good with." Mathematics. And he knew something. I know it in day. That if he gave half of everything to the poor. And he repaid four times what he had stolen. He knew that that day he would go bankrupt. But I told you Zacchaeus was a smart man. But I know say at the time that Zacchaeus in gets sharp and well when he made a decision. He can't say I know it's not good. He said it's better to be the poorest man in Jericho and have peace with God. He said better make I be the man with poor pass for the world Jericho could come get peace with God than to have all the money in the world and to live with every demon in hell. That to come get all the money for inside this world, come they stay with demon for inside hell. Zacchaeus made a decision that day. Zacchaeus can't say I know it's not good for come. He decided that no matter what the cost. He said no matter what it go, had me get. He wanted to have peace with God. Say, won't get peace God. Say amen. Make it talk, amen. Let me tell you what's going to happen tonight. Make I tell you what to happen this night. My brothers and sisters, My many people. of you are going to be faced tonight with a decision. Plenty of you are face decision for You have to make a choice. On our decide. Do you want to have peace with God? You won't get peace inside God. Or do you want to hold on to your sin? Or you won't go hold your sin to go. Do you want peace with God? You won't get peace with God. Or do you want your old life? Or you won't go live life in the You're before. going to have to make a choice you today. You won't decide today. But I believe that many of you are going to make a choice. I believe plenty of you are going to decide. They're going I to tell you what's going to happen tonight. I will tell you what's going to happen tonight. There are some of you here. I, some of you are there for here. Tonight there's a prostitute here. They get prostitute here. You've been selling your body. You know the kind of body they give people. But after tonight, but after this night, you're going to give your heart and your life and your body to Jesus Christ. You can't carry your mind, your body, everything. Can't give and Jesus. you will never sell your body again in Jesus' will, name. You never sell your body again in Jesus' name. Say Amen. Make a talk, Amen. Tonight there is an armed robber that's here. This night you get person the thief waiting for here. Tonight you're gonna put down that gun. This night you're gonna drop the gun. You're gonna pick up a Bible. You carry Bible. And you're gonna become a preacher of the gospel. You're gonna become person the preacher of the gospel. In Jesus' Lord. name. In Jesus' name. Say Amen. Make you talk Amen. My friend, listen to me tonight. My people, make you listen to me this night. I told you the first night. I will not tell you for the first night. I am not a diplomat. You no, know, be me. I know I be there against something. I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. And as I stand here before you tonight, I have a responsibility to tell you the truth. As I stand for your phone this night, my work is not to come tell you to good. And after I preach tonight, you might not like me anymore. After I don't preach this night, if you don't come like me again. Maybe I will never be invited back to Port Harcourt. Maybe they don't invite me back to Port Harcourt again. Maybe I will make you very angry with me. Maybe I will come make you very angry with me. But no matter what the consequence. No matter what will happen. I must tell you the truth tonight. I must tell you the truth this night. I have to tell you the truth tonight. I got to tell you the truth this night. Because one day I will stand before the Lord. Because one day I will come stand before God. And I will give an account for what I have said to you here today. I won't talk. Can't talk with me. I don't come tell you for you. And so I'm going to tell you the truth. And I go tell you the truth. Are you ready? You don't get it. This is the truth. See the truth, yeah. It is not good enough to come to a gospel crusade. It's never good to say you can't come gospel crusade. It is not good enough to lift your hand and pray a prayer. It's never good to say you can't lift your hand and pray a prayer. It is not good enough to go to a church and put money in the offering. It's never good to say you can't go to a church and money for offering box. None of those things are good enough. No one will come good to you. Listen to me tonight. Make it listen to me this night. When 
you follow Jesus. When you go to follow Jesus. When you give your life to Jesus. When you your life, can't give Jesus. Your life must change. Your life will change. Go, go. You cannot be the way that you used to be. You don't the way there before. Let him who has stolen steal no more. not again. God wants to change you from the inside out. God wants to change you from inside. Come aside. Zacchaeus knew when he met Jesus. Zacchaeus knew when he came that he could never be the same again. Go the way in there again. My friend, when you meet Jesus tonight. My friend, when you go meet Jesus this your night, life will change. Your life will change. I said your life will change. Your life will change. No more sleeping with your neighbor's husband. You know, sleep with your neighbor's husband no again. more sleeping with your neighbor's wife. You know, sleep with your neighbor's wife again. No more going to the witch doctors. You know, going to do again. No more looking at pornography. You know, was, uh, him again. No more getting drunk. You know, drink again. No more abusing your wife. You know, uh, disturb your when wife you Peter. give your life to Jesus, you give your, life, give Jesus. your life must change. Your life must change. Say amen. Make it talk amen. You know, I heard something in another country was not here. You know, sir, you one thing for another country, no before. But here. I feel like I need to mention it here tonight as well. But I feel make a talk for you this night. When I arrived at the airport, the pastor told me about something happening in their country. When I began to airport, the pastor can't tell me about what they have for their country. They said, in this country, we have a problem. They tell me, for this country, we get problem. There are a group of ministers. You get some ministers, we get group. They say that they are prophets. They say they may prophet them. And they tell the people, and they tell people say that if they want to receive a prayer, if they want to receive prayer, if they want to receive a miracle, if they want, a miracle, if they want to receive a prophetic word, if they want a prophetic word, then they must pay. So they go pay something. And they ask for big, big money. And they get it. They find big, big money. They will bless you for money. So they go bless you because of money. They will give you a miracle for money. They will give you a miracle because they of money. They will prophesy for money. They will come tell you prophecy because of and money. And I tell you, my friends, tonight, and I tell you, my people, this that night, this is not the way that men of God operate. Maybe some men of God they walk. Oh, I said, this is not the way that men of God operate. So men of God, they walk this is the way the witch doctor operates. So the the gospel of Jesus Christ is God's free gift. The gospel where Jesus Christ is Say amen. Free gift from God. amen. Tonight, if there are one of those kind of men here, I'm telling you, it's time to repent. If you be those kind of people waiting for you, it's time for you to give your life to Jesus. Make your life give Jesus. Jesus said, "Let the greatest among you be the servant of all." Jesus said, "Person with big pastor, I'm making God Tonight, your life is going to change. Your life will change this night. I tell you what, there's someone else here tonight. I tell you, there's another person there for you this night. You're a pastor. You be pastor, but you've been stealing money out of the offering. Boy, don't give money for me, I offering. You've been stealing like Zacchaeus, like Zacchaeus, taking money from the offering for your own pocket. I believe tonight that God is giving you an opportunity to repent. I believe that this night God they give you opportunity, chance. It's, 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 time it's, it's time for your life to change. If they don't give time, your life Say to amen. Make it talk, amen. And I believe that's going to happen. I believe that one go happen. I want you to imagine something with me. I'll, I'll make it think something with me. I told you in the beginning. I've been not enough for starting. The Bible says that righteousness exalteth a nation. The Bible talks that righteousness and the congregation they go up. I want you to dream with me for a moment. Make God give me and you small. Imagine what would happen tomorrow. What do you think? What do you happen tomorrow? If all of the thieves, if all the thieves them, gave back their stolen goods. Don't carry all the things they don't give. Go give people back. If all of the politicians, the politicians them, cease their corruption. Can't stop the corruption. If all of the pastors the pastor them, became honest men of God. They talk to the people, if all of the people began to respect one another. If all the people can't respect as Jesus said, told us to do. As Jesus doesn't tell to do. My friend, do you know what would happen in Port Harcourt tomorrow? tomorrow? This nation would be lifted up to heaven. This nation will come go up it will become the lighthouse of the whole it world. Become light for the whole world. Say amen. Make it up, amen. Jesus came to change us. Jesus don't come to come change us. To give us a new heart. To come give us new heart. And a new life. New life too. And when you meet Jesus, your life must change. When you go meet Jesus, your life must change. I was in another city here I've in been, Nigeria. I've been there for another city for a year for Nigeria. And one night, a man came to the meeting with a big pickup truck. One night, a man come to the meeting for one big motor wing. Can he come? And in the back of the truck, there were big rolls of cloth. For the truck, in the motor back, he come get big cloth to be seen. Very oh, expensive cloth. It cost well, where? It was cloth used to make wedding dresses. Did they that in the and the man said to us, the I man, stole this cloth. The man got to say, I thief this thing with this. But I'm not sure who the rightful owner is. I don't know the person we get I'm to go. I said, Why did you bring it here? I said, I said, Wait, make I am come here he now. said, Because I don't want the devil's property anymore. Because I don't want devil thing again. My friend, listen to me. My people make on that was great wisdom. You see, when you have stolen things 
in your house and in your life. You see, when you don't conceive something for your house and for your life, you have the devil's property in your house. You get devil thing inside your house. And the devil has the right to come into your house and inspect his property. And devil get right to come inside and ask on the second thing, on the second, the second. That's what Zacchaeus understood. Now what's the thing you understand? He had to get the devil's property out of his house. Ain't no single kind of thing come out of house. Say amen. Make it talk amen. Some of you have pornography in your house. I want you to know that's the devil's property. And when you have it in your home, you give the devil a right to come into your house. When you get that for your house, don't come give the devil a chance to inspect your house. his property. We're going to get rid of all the stuff. Today. When you go home tonight, you're going to go hand in hand with Jesus. Just like with Zacchaeus. And Jesus is going to go to your house. And he's going to go into the rooms. And he's going to look under your bed and, and your he's going to look behind your door, your door back. and he's going to inspect your house and, inspect your house. and you're going to get rid of all of the devil's property you today to all the devil. and I tell you salvation will come to your house in Jesus name say amen amen another story of from right here in Nigeria another story for here for for Nigeria this happened a couple of years ago. It happened some years ago. Pass. Reverend Peter Vandenberg, who's here with me. Reverend Peter, we've been there with me. He was walking through the crowd as he does every night. And as he was night. walking, a lady approached him and took him by the arm. He said, Reverend, I want to tell you a story of what happened to me. Say, Reverend, I want to tell you to what happened to me. She said, I am an accountant by profession. Say, I they count money and I work with Alena. And I work in a very large company. And I work for a company way big, way way. We have big, big money in my company. We get big, big money for our company for she our She said, office. I handle this money. Say, I they, I mean, they hold the money. And she said, over the years, I have learned how to steal money from the company. Say, for plenty years, I don't pass. I don't know how to come carry thief money from inside my said, company. Over the years, I have stolen so much money. I was able to build my house with it. She said, plenty years, I don't pass. I don't come feed thief plenty money. Be say, I go feed and build my house. And she said, I knew how to change the numbers. In the accounting books. See, I know I will come carry change number for the book with the guys. No money. one would ever find out. And nobody could feel no. And then she said, I came to this gospel crusade. She said, I can't come this crusade with this. I heard the gospel. I can't hear what's in their talk. I gave my life to Jesus. I can't carry my life, give Jesus. And then I knew it. I can't know say I could not be a thief anymore. I be thief again. She said, My life had to change. She said, My life won't change. So she said, the next day I went to work. To see the boss. So the next day I can't go walk. I can't go see my guy. I knocked on his door. I can't knock for him door. He said, "Come in. What can I do for you?" Because he entered, what can I go feed you for you? She said, "Sir, I've come here to confess." She said, "Oh God, not come here. I can't talk to you." She told him the whole story. She told him the whole thing. What happened? How she had been stealing from him. How she had carried thief in things. How she had bought a house with the stolen money. How she don't carry build houses with the money. How she had been changing the numbers in the books. How she carry save change number for book. She said, "Sir, I've come to confess my sin to you." She said, "Sir, I won't come talk the truth. There be things we are do." Because yesterday I gave my life to Jesus Christ. Yes, the way past. I carry my life. Give Jesus Christ. And my life has changed. And my life don't change. And I know that I can never be a thief again. And I know that I know if he can be a thief again. And she said, the man sat there with his mouth open. And the man goes down there, he opened the mouth. And it took him a while to find words. And he can't take time for him to come to go talk. But then he began to speak. But that's how he got to talk. He said, I've never experienced anything like this before. See, I never seen this kind of thing like this before. He said, no one has ever confessed stealing to me unless I've caught them first. See, nobody don't come to tell me to go say they're thief unless I come his man and catch them he first. He said, I didn't know you were stealing. See, I don't know say thief, oh. He said, I would have never caught you. See, I've never you. But you've come to me. But don't come to me. He said, this is amazing. This is one better thing. He said, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to forgive you. Don't worry about the stolen money. Me no worry for the money you don't thief. I forgive you. I don't forgive you. All is forgotten. All is, I don't forget them. He said, but that's not all. But nobody all be that. He said, I think you must be the most honest employee in my whole company. See, I think saying I be the most betterest employment where I don't get. And so this is what I'm going to do. See what I go do. As of this day, I'm promoting you to the chief accountant in my company. From today, I'm going to go. Come become chief accountant, number one accountant for my company. That's a true story. Now, two, two things we have. Happened right here in Nigeria. Happened for Nigeria, Congo. Now, what am I telling you tonight? What did I tell you this night? Am I telling you that if you are a thief and you confess that you will get a promotion? No. And then they tell you, tell you say, if you be thief, if you can't talk to you, they'll come promote you. No be him. But this is what I am telling you. But what did I tell you here? That if you will do what is right. If you do it in the good. If you will trust Jesus. If you got your mind. For Jesus. If you will obey him so tonight, will it, talk this night. Jesus will take care of you. Jesus will come take care of you. Go, go Say you amen. Say. Make it talk amen. But I want to warn you about something. I want to warn you about something, you know. Because you see, 
The Bible says that the devil is a liar and the father of lies. Because you see, the Bible talks the devil na lie lie man and him be the papa for all liars. So whenever the Holy Spirit begins to speak to you, like He is speaking to you now, as any time when the Holy Spirit come to talk to you, the way they come to you, you now, have heard His voice tonight. And you don't come hear His voice this night. He's put His finger on something in your life. You don't come hear His finger on the point one thing in your life. This I want to be different. And the doctor, this one, I want this, to be not like this again. I want to change. I want to make this one change. And you know that the Holy Spirit has spoken to your heart. And you know the Holy Spirit don't talk for your mind. How many of you have heard the voice of the Holy Spirit tonight? Let me see your hands. The Holy Spirit voice this night. Make on a move on. I have to warn you. I want to warn you. Whenever the Holy Spirit begins to speak on this side, the Holy Spirit talk for this side. Something happens. Something did happen. The devil begins to speak in this side. The devil go to talk for the other side. And the devil will say this. Devil go to talk this one. Some of you have already heard him tonight. Some of you have already heard him this night. He will say, wait, 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 wait. He will say, make you wait, make you wait, make you wait. Slow down. Make you calm down, small, small. If you do what this preacher is talking if about. If you do what in this preacher that they talk. It will be very bad for you. It's not go good for you. He said, if you confess that you have stolen. See, if you can't talk to him, say, don't he? You will go to jail. See, they will carry you to prison. He said, he says, if you confess so that you committed adultery, if you can't talk to it, say you don't want to be person wife, you'll be disowned. So they will come say you know my own your again. friends you will turn on you. you they will come say leave me a bed. You will lose your job. You will lose the job where you get. And the devil will begin to threaten you. The devil will come to tell you about this, make you fear. My friend, listen to me tonight. Make you listen as I talk this night. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Lie, man. I said the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Lie, man. Don't listen to him. Hey, no listen, nothing at all. He will always lead you wrong. He go to carry the go wrong place. I told you earlier. I don't tell you before that there's a woman here who is a prostitute. As I was preaching, the Holy Spirit spoke to you. As they talked to me, the Holy Spirit talked to you. But then Satan began to speak. But devil going to talk. He said, if you stop selling your body, so if you can't stop it, can't carry your body, they give your people, children are going to stop. So your children go to hungry. Oh. My friend, listen. My friend, make you listen. Do what Jesus is telling you make to do. Make you do what Jesus is telling you make you do. Trust him. Make you believe him. He will take care of you. He will carry you. Take care to of that armed robber. For those armed robbers, they will carry you on the thief. As I was preaching, the Holy Spirit was touching your life. As I preached, they talked, they go, listen. But the devil began to speak in your ear. He called the talk inside your ear. This is what he said. See what he didn't talk. If you leave that gang, so if you can't leave that people, they follow a car. The other members of the gang will shoot you. Or that people they with you, they will come shoot you. My friend, listen to me tonight. My people, make gonna listen to this. Don't night. let the devil threaten you. Me no allow devil to come tell you about things. He is a liar. He be like lie man. Do what Jesus has told you to do. Make you do what thing Jesus don't tell you make you do. And he will take care of you. And he go to carry you, judge you, take Say care amen. Of you. Make you talk amen. <laughs> can I tell you a little story tonight? I'm another story this night. How many of you like my stories? I know, but I really like my story. I like stories too. That's why I, like I tell you them. Too. Let me and this story was about a, a young man who wanted to become a cook. This story is about one man way young, way be saying one day cook food. And so he got a job at a very large restaurant. So he gonna get a job for the restaurant way bigger way. And he was the junior cook. And a small boy they cook. And so they gave him a very small job. They can't carry small job. His job was to stir soup in a pot. He walk and they turn soup for inside pots. He would stir from eight o'clock in the morning. He would turn from eight o'clock until five o'clock at night. Five o'clock for night. Every night, every day, stirring that pot. All the night, he would turn up for the pot. He would turn up for the pots. Now. One day, something interesting happened. One day, something very good will come happen. A very large party was about to take place at the party restaurant. Will happen for the guests. And to feed the guests, the owner had purchased one hundred chickens. To come feed people will come. The owner don't come buy one hundred chickens. One hundred big, fat, beautiful, delicious chickens. One hundred big one, way fat, way chicken, the fowl. And the young man went back into the storage room. The young man called inside the room to keep the chickens. He saw those chickens. He said, "If I would, he had an idea. He said, "I gave it to Nagodu." He said, "If I take one of these chickens, if I collect one of these fowl, them there are so many chickens. There are plenty where where. If I take one, no one will know the if difference. If I collect one, nobody will know what is happening. Look this way. He can look this side. He looked that way. He can look this side. No one was watching. Nobody they look at. He took one of those chickens. He can collect one of the fowl. He hit it. He tiptoed all the way back to his home. And when he got to his door, he looked to the left. He looked to the right. He went inside. He killed the chicken. He cooked the chicken. He ate the chicken. It was delicious. It is sweet. And as he was sucking the last piece of meat off of the last bone, as they saw the last one, when they saw the good, the sweet arm, he sat back in his chair. He rubbed his belly. He said that was a delicious that chicken. One sweet, that chicken that Today I've learned sweet, a very important lesson. Today, I, don't call line one less way Today I have learned that stolen chicken tastes much better than regular chicken. I don't chicken. call let's say far away it's sweet pass one way no tea for with it normal. 
He was very proud of himself. He said, I'm a very talented criminal. He said, maybe tomorrow I will steal two chickens. He had to go back to work. He worked from 8 until 5. And now it was time for him to go home. He was washing his hands. And suddenly, an old man came in. Now one time, old man come, come. He was an old chef. Now old man, he said, no, the cook since. He said, son, wait a minute. Because my picky make a bit small. He said, I see you are getting ready to go home. Ah, this is it. They're against you. Won't go house. But I have a special request for but you. Okay, but that's I won't tell you. So make it. You see, the big boss has asked me to work tonight until midnight. So the old guy don't come to make a work from nine go get midnight. But I'm an old man. But I don't old now. I'm tired. I don't tire. I want to go home and sleep. I won't go house. Go sleep. I'm asking you to work in my place. And they say, make you work for the place. I'm supposed to work this night. The young man said, well, I'm also very tired. The, the, man, the young boy got to say, miss if I don't I tire. I also would like to go home. See, miss, I would like to go get But how much money will I be paid? So how much will you come pay me? The old man said, oh, you will not be paid. The man can say, you, I'm not going to pay you. You will work because I asked you to work. You work because I tell you to make you work. Nothing else. And nothing again. The young man said, no, you're crazy. The young man can say, you know, get sense. He said, I will not work for he free. I'm not going to work. I'm free, going though. home. Goodbye. And they go house. Good night. But the I old man took him by the arm. The man and pulled hand. him close. One and come back. And said, young man. Because a young boy. I saw what you did yesterday. I see what you do yesterday. I saw you steal that chicken. And they see you say, he thief that fowl. He said, if you don't do what I'm telling you to do so if you, and work for me until midnight, I will go and tell the big boss what so you've done. if you done. don't do it now, tell you make you do, come work for me, come go reach midnight, I will go tell you, oh God, this morning. The young man said, no, 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 please, 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 yeah, please. Say, I beg, go I beg, tell I beg, the I beg, big boss, please. please. I, beg, I, beg, I, beg, I will do anything for you, no problem, for no you. problem. Me no problem, no problem. And so no there Allah. the young man was stirring the pot until midnight. The young man come to pot, come to midnight. The day was over, he went home. And they come pass, go house. He had to get up in the morning to go back to work. He, get up for money, go back he worked from eight until five. He, go to go he was five. just about to walk out the door. And here came that old chef again. That old man really cooked, don't come the chef said, son, wait, wait, wait. Before you go, the big boss asked me to work again tonight. Be, oh God, and you're going to do it for me. And you go work out for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Where, where? Remember the chicken. The young man had no response. The young boy, no fit talking to He say. just had to keep working. He just continued the work. He was like a slave. Be like, be seen at stirring in pot until midnight. The, the, pot, go get midnight. the next day, the next day, he worked from eight until five. He walk from to go Here comes the old man. And this again. time, the old man didn't say very much. This, this old man, no talk but as like he this. was going out the door, he said, "Young man, he just a young boy." Remember the chicken. And there was the young man stirring the pot. The, young man the, the pot. next day, the next day he worked from eight until five. He came the old man. The old man can't come again. This time, as the old man went out the door, he this only said one word. The old man can't door, can't talk one thing. Chicken. Fa-o-lo. The next night. The next night. Congress. Chicken. Fowl. The next night. The next night. Fowl. Fowl. The next night, next night again. Foul, 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 foul. This happened every night happened for every two, night. Weeks. two weeks. Two weeks, yeah, two weeks. And at the end of two weeks, after two weeks gone past, the young man had hardly slept. He didn't don't walk. I mean, never he woke sleep. up in the morning with a headache. He woke up any different. He felt sick. He feel like seeing the sick. He was dreading the thought of going to work. He couldn't feel like seeing the go work tomorrow because he knew what was going to happen. Because he knows that something will happen. Suddenly he had a revelation. I think I'll get something to do for his mind. He said, wait a minute. Because it make you wait to. If I had been paid for all of the hours I worked. See, then they pay me for all this time I had to work, so. I could have bought all 100 chickens. I don't buy 100 chickens. And suddenly, stolen chicken didn't taste so good anymore. One time, nine far away, they did no consult again. How many of you know that sin, the Bible says, is pleasurable for a season? I don't know if I know the Bible talks say sin have only one small time in the sweets. But the wages of sin is death. And the thing where you go get after you commit sin not to die. And the young man realized he had to do something. The young man can't see saying go need to do something. So he got out of his bed. He got come up for bed. He put on his clothes. He, got out he went to work early that he morning. He go work early that and morning. He went to the office where his big boss was working. Office where got the work. The boss said, "Come in, son. What can I do for you?" Oh God, come in, sir. What can I go do for you? He sat down. He can't sit down. He said, "Sir." 
I've come here to confess. I don't I've done something very terrible. I don't do something bad. Wait, wait. He said, two weeks ago, I stole a chicken from your restaurant. He said, I feel terrible about it. He said, I I've come to confess to you. I will never steal another chicken. And I will pay for this one. And I will, pay for this one. I don't and I will accept whatever punishment you think is just. And I will collect anything you say is good for me. Even if you must fire me. Even though you need to fire me, I go out. You want to know what the boss said? You know what you got to talk. How many of you would like to know? I'm not going to go on, no. This is what the boss said. See what you got to talk. He said, son. This is my picking. I knew you stole that chicken two weeks ago. I know say you tipped that chicken two weeks. We don't pass that far. I already knew. I know finish. But I didn't say anything. But I know talk anything. Because I wanted to see how long you would let that old man make a slave out of you. Because I want to see how long you won't allow that old man to make you come become slave. The boss said, son, don't worry about the chicken. Picking, making no worry for the chicken. I forgive you. I don't pass. I don't You've paid you. for it many times you by now. You don't pay past that one. All price. is forgiven. I don't forgive you. Go in peace. Make it good. Better for you. The young man felt like a weight lifted. The man come like say something come up for his shoulder. He didn't walk out of that office. He know I come up for the office. Oh. He was floating in the flight waka on a cloud waka for air. He went back to work. In waka go walk. So light, in the happy, don't so empty. free. Don't free for him. He was whistling through the whole day. They, do, <laughs> they do like that all day long whistling. Day they whistle, they blow and whistle, finally, they blow he worked from eight until five. He work out for eight now he was five. to go home. He, he was house. washing his hands. He wash his hand, and go. here came that old man. The old man come come again. And as the old man walked out the door, as the old man come come for he door. only said one word. He come talk again. Chicken. Paolo. This time the young man had an answer. This time the young man no thing go talk. This time the young man wasn't going to take it anymore. This time the young man no go come take him again. He put his foot down. And he shouted at the top of his lungs. He his voice go talk no! He said no. The old man stopped. The old man can't stop. He put in the reverse gear. He came back to the young man. He said, son, what did you say to me? Did you say no? Did you tell me no? You tell me no. He whispered in his ear. He said, son, I don't know if you remember this. But two weeks ago, you stole a chicken from this restaurant. If you don't work for me tonight, I will go and tell the big boss what you've done. The young man wasn't afraid anymore. The, young man, no God, if you gay. the Bible says that the righteous are as bold as a lion. The Bible talks, the righteous man, they strong like lion. The he fear. looked that old man in the eyes. The old man for eye. He said, old man, the old man, I tell you what, tell you, what you, you go ahead and tell the big boss Make what I did. I, I have already gone to see him myself. I, don't get to go with myself. I have already confessed I my don't sin don't to, to him. To give him. He has forgiven me. Forgive he me. has set me he free. And I will never, 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 again. Never, Never work for you again. For you again. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you what's going to happen tonight. Tell you what to happen this night. Jesus is going to pick you like he picked Zacchaeus from Jesus the tree. Pick you like he Zacchaeus and he's going to go hand in hand with you. You and your house are going to be saved. You and your house are going to be saved. But I tell you what you're going to do tonight. Tell you what you're, going to do this night. you're going to stop listening to the devil. We're going to go to the big boss. We're going to tell him what we've done. He already knows. And when you leave this place tonight with Jesus, you will not walk home. You will float home. You go there fly, they go out. Because you will be saved. Because you, go there saved. you will be forgiven. You, go there forgiven. you will be free. You go there free. And you will never, never, never work for the devil again. You no go come walk for devil again. Say amen. Amen. I'm asking everyone to stand all over this place. I tell everybody make stand for this place everywhere. Everyone who can stand, stand now, please. Everybody who go feel stand, make on a stand up. The holy moment of this night has come. The only time for this night don't come. Are you happy tonight? Are happy this night? Are you blessed? Are they blessed? I want to ask a question with every head bowed and every eye closed. I want to ask a question. Make everybody bow their head. Every eye come close. If you know that you need to surrender your whole life to Jesus, you know, say you need to carry the whole of your life. Come give Jesus. I'm talking especially to those who are not already born again. I they talk to those people who say they never really carry their life, give Jesus. Those who have never made the decision to follow Jesus. The people never decided they will come follow Jesus. If you hear him calling you tonight. If you hear him mean, calling you this night. If you want to say yes. And you want to talk yes. You want to take him by the hand. You want to hold him for hand. And give him your whole you life. Carry the whole of your life, give him. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. If that's you, I want to see your hand. If not you, I want to see your hand anywhere we did. All over this place. So many hands are lifted. Plenty hands are lifted. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. 
And I'm going to lead you now in a prayer for salvation. I want you to pray after me in English. I to pray after me in English. And I want everyone in this place to pray in support of those who have lifted their hands. I want make everybody for this place come pray. Come support those people they don't get Do not whisper this prayer. Make it for them they pray this prayer. I want you to pray with all of your heart. Make God all of your mind pray. And all of your might. Make God all of your mind. Are you ready tonight? You don't get it this night. I said, Are you ready tonight? You don't get it this night. Those of you that are praying with me, lift your hands so I can see you. Those who will follow me, pray. Make it get up here and make it see you. Keep those hands up and pray with make me. You keep on like that. Make it pray with me. Say, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Make it say, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, shout it out. Make dear it Lord Jesus Christ. I come to you tonight a sinner needing salvation Lord Jesus Christ I say yes to you take my life wash me cleanse me make me new Lord Jesus Christ Today, I confess with my mouth what I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, that God raised him from the dead, that he is my Savior, and that he is my very best friend. As of this day, I belong to Jesus, and Jesus belongs to me. I believe it, I receive it, and I confess it in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together for Jesus tonight. Make you clap your hand for Jesus this night. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Counselors, I'm asking you to lift those booklets wherever you are tonight. Counselors, all make over it, this field. Counselors, make guide these counselors books lift your up. books. Wave your books. Make you wave your book. Make you wave your keep book. those books uplifted now. Make you lift them up. These books are for those of you that have made a decision this week to follow Jesus. This book now for those who maybe say don't come decide say go follow Jesus. It's a book that was written by evangelist Ryan Harbonke this, called Now That You Are Saved. This book now This book is going to help you to take the next step in your walk with Jesus. This book will help you make one walker they follow Jesus, they walk they go. And it's going to help us to help you find a local church where you can be a part. It's going to help us, it's going to help you to come find church where they near you may go they follow the go. Now listen to me. Make a listen as I talk. No one is allowed to take more than one of these books this week. You're not supposed to collect this book past one this week. Oh. If you take one book, it is a gift. If you collect one, a gift. If you take a second book, the second one is stolen. If you collect another one, a thief be that. If you already took two books, you need to bring one of them back. If you don't get it, collect two, make it carry one, come back. Just like Zacchaeus. Just the way Zacchaeus do. Say amen. Okay, man. Come on. Uh, Ushers, lift those books so I can see where you are. Ushers, make on a read the book, make on a see on a day. This is very, very important. This one day important as well. Keep your books in the air. Make it keep on for up. Now, if you need to receive a copy of this book, I want you to lift your hand also. And if you know say one collect one book for like this, make it get up your hand. Those of you that need the books, lift your hand also. People will want the book, make it get up your hand. Okay, now those that have the books and those that need the books, go and find one another. People will get book and people will want book. Make on a go to find each other. Quickly, go to one another now. Make on a go inside, go to find each other. I'm asking now the counselors to get to work counseling. Oh yeah, counselors, we're gonna start to work. Make, make sure that you are giving those books away. We're gonna make sure that the kind of book they give While people. the counselors are counseling. As the counselors, the counsel they go. Eddie and his team is going to lead us in worship. Eddie and the people they're going to lead us and in worship. And they're coming back to pray for you. We can't come back, come pray for you. And the Holy Spirit is going to fall in this Holy place. Holy Spirit will come for this place. Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing worth more or would ever come close. Nothing can compare. You're our living hope. Mm. Your presence, Lord.
tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence Lord
and sing that. Worthy is the One more time. You are holy. You are holy. You sound beautiful. How many of you want to experience the outpouring of the Holy Spirit? How many of you want to Holy Spirit? They pour. It's coming. In they come. It's coming. In they come. This is what I'm going to do. See what I go do here. Before I begin to pray for you to receive the baptism into the Spirit. Before I come pray for you, make uncle let baptism of Spirit. I want to ask how many of you were healed in one of the previous nights of this gospel crusade. Let me I see your hands. I ask how many people have been saying they can't heal for the night to don't pass for this gospel crusade. Those of you that received a healing, just wave both hands over Those who have been saying, can't collect healing, make you wave your two hands. I want to see where you did. Isn't this amazing? It's going to be better thing. Put your hands down. Make you your hand, calm down. I want, to, I want to ask this question and make sure you understand. I want to ask this question. I want to make sure so you understand what I talk. My question is this. My question is this. If you had a sickness in your body, if you've been getting sickness or inside your body, 
and after prayer this week the sickness has left your body after we come pray inside this week, the sickness can't come out for your body. I'm not asking if you think that you're healed or you hope you're healed. I know they ask what I they think say you don't come heal. They pray say you go come heal. But I'm asking if you have the evidence of that miracle in your body. And they ask you say what are the things don't they show for your body? They in see other words, him. something has changed when and we you know, pray. Say something don't come change that way you pray. I want you to wave your hands over your head like your this. So I can for see up. where you are. Even for up. Any way I did. Isn't this amazing? This Thousands. Is amazing. Of miracles. Thousand miracles. Jesus is thousand alive miracles. in Nigeria. Say amen. Jesus, they are alive for Nigeria. Talk amen. This is what I want you to do right now to save time. See what now? I make you do now. I make you come. I'm gonna invite those of you that were healed in one of the previous meetings to come forward right now. I go tell you, and I wake one day here for meeting. They will not pass. Make one come forward. If you were healed last night or the night before, come now. If then, if you come here last night or the night they pass, make you come. Begin to make your way through the crowd. Make you walk out from inside crowd. Come outside. I want you to come to this side of the platform. I'll make you come this side of the stage. My left, your right. Yeah, my left. No, my right, your left. Sorry. My right hand, your own left. Come forward right now. My right hand side. My right hand side. There's a banner here that says testimonies. I want to hear what Jesus has done for you. I want to shake your hand and bless you. I want to take your hand, come bless you. And I want you to give glory to Jesus for that miracle. Say amen. Make it talk amen. Come on, let's put our hands together for those that are coming now. For those people they come now. Now, if you're far away on the edges of the field. This is why I'm doing this now to give you time to come. If you dare far, far for the field, the ending side. Now, the thing will make I do this thing. I make so it don't come. Let, Lord, don't let anything discourage you. Make come not anything to stop. Make it come. Oh. We're waiting for you. We they wait for you. And while these are coming, I want to play a testimony of you uh, for you to build your faith. As these ones that they come, I won't come play testimony for screen. Make it come faith. Come they go up and to prepare you for a miracle come that's coming now. For miracle, we go happen In now. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In 2010, we were in the city of Karu in Nigeria. And I remember it was one of those nights where the miracles just began to pop like popcorn all over the field after I'd prayed for the sick. I could see crutches and wheelchairs going into the air from all over the field. And after I prayed, I was just about to call for testimonies. And I remember seeing from my right hand side, this woman running up to me with her sister and crutches in the air. And so before I had even finished, I turned and I began to listen to this amazing testimony. Mighty miracles are happening all over this place in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you why we share these miracle testimonies with you. Because as you hear, Come here, ma'am. Come here. Stand right here. Stand right here. Come. Stand right here. Bring me those crutches. Bring me the crutches. Tell me, ma'am, what was wrong with you? I had five surgeries. After the fifth one, I could not walk. My spinal cord was like this. I could not walk. But now I can't walk. For my seven years, I've been suffering affliction for seven years now. I've been suffering affliction for seven years. I cannot walk on my own. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She was so healed that as she walked across the platform and when we saw her the next day, you couldn't tell that there had ever been anything wrong with her. I can still remember her sister when she saw her sister walking across the platform, she fell on her knees on the, on the platform and began to weep and cry and thank the Lord for that amazing miracle. It's something I'll never forget. Thank you, Jesus. Now, who are you, ma'am? She's my one and only sister I have in this world. We are only two from my mommy's womb. <laughs> thank you, she's healed in Jesus' name. Is what, she, is what your sister is saying is true? It's true, sir. How long have you been unable to walk? It's uh, six weeks and six, six months now. Since February, I've been down. And what happened to you tonight? I'm here. I can't walk. Come on, walk for us. Walk, walk, walk. Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah. Isn't this wonderful? Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. My sister is healed. I'm Priska Alta. She's Placida Alta. She's the only sister I have. She has undergone several operations. The last operation she did, she was paralyzed. So we heard of Rihan Bonke and his colleague, Daniel Kalenda. We came over with her. Glory be to God, yesterday she could walk. She threw away her crutches. Thanks be to God. I'm grateful <laughs> because of the coming of the man of God. I think it was because of me who they organized the crusade in Cairo. I'm very be to grateful God. because I threw, I threw away my crutches. I'm healed. I'm happy. Now she can walk on her own. You know, Jesus is the healer. Let me tell you why we share these testimonies with you. Because what Jesus has done for this sister, he will do for you tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In 2000. Amen. What Jesus did for her, she, he will also do for you. What did Jesus do for her? He's going to do for you too. I'm also speaking to those of you that are watching right now I on did. the live stream around the world. I did talk to them now. They watch for this television for the whole world now. As we pray today, the power of God will flow to your life as, as well. As we go pray today, the power of God will come flow inside your life in too. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to pray in just a moment for you to receive the baptism into the Holy Spirit. Inside a small time, I'll go and pray for you. May go and collect the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And what is about to happen is that thousands of you are going to be filled at the same moment with the happen? Holy Spirit. What thing happen? We say plenty of one go come there for the same time. When the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit falls, when the Holy Spirit go fall, people don't just speak with other tongues. People know they just they talk only a lot. But other every tongues. miracle is possible. But only any miracle will happen. Many of you are going to be healed tonight. Plenty of one are going to get healed. Many of you are going to be delivered from demons tonight. Plenty of one are going to come for demons. When the Holy Spirit Spirit falls. The Holy Spirit will come fall. He will change everything. He will change everything. Say amen. Make a dark amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to read a short verse to you. I want to read small portion of the Bible for you. Don't worry, I'm not going to preach again. Make you know what I know go preach on that one. But I want you to understand something very important. I want to make you understand what's in the important way. Because we are just about to pray. Because we want to pray so. When we pray, as we go pray, they go. I want you to pray with expectation. I want to carry some to your mind. They pray so. Listen to what Jesus said in Luke chapter eleven. See what Jesus talked when he said Luke chapter eleven. In verse eleven, he said, "If you, if a son asks bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone?" Say if Pekin come ask say one chop bread for any of our father, will be father hand? And I'll carry stone give him. Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? Say if he come tell me give him fish, you carry snake, give him. Or if he asks for an egg, will he give him a, a scorpion? Say, if you go and tell him, go and give him an egg. You go and carry a scorpion and give him. Let me ask the question to you as Jesus did. I'll ask you the question the way Jesus can If ask. your son or your daughter came to you. If your pekin come to you. And they asked you for a piece of bread. Would you give them a snake, yes or no? You go and snake, give him yes or no? I think some of you aren't sure. I think this is about Yes or no? Yes or no? What if your son asked you for an egg, would you give him a scorpion? Your boy, me, go carry egg, give, give him a snake. Scorpion. What if he asked you for a fish, would you give him a serpent? If you yes or no? Fish, you go give him a serpent, snake. Of course not. Do, do, no be him. We no love God. our children. We like our children. Wait, wait. And we want to give good gifts to our children. And we want to give our children. Jesus went on to say this. Jesus to talk this one. If you then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children. Say you will be a bad person. If you know how to carry better thing, give your children. How much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who Ah, you think say our father waited for heaven? In the Gokai, the Holy Spirit give those people the final. Say amen. Make you talk amen. So that is this is what's going to happen this in just a moment. Happen in this small time. In just a moment, I'm going to ask the worship team to lead us in singing hallelujah. In that small time, the worship team now come help us. Come to sing hallelujah. Just get ready, worship team. Make you get you worship team. In fact, you can give me a chord right now. So if you give me chord, now make you give me to play that piano very softly. Piano small, small. Make you give me key. And we're going to begin to worship the Lord. Make you worship God. And this is why I love to sing the song Hallelujah. See what make with the sing Hallelujah. We are like because wait, wait. Hallelujah means praise be unto God. Because Hallelujah means say praise name be God own. Tonight I want you to put your attention on Jesus as we sing. I want me to get your attention to for Jesus as we sing. Because Jesus is the Savior. Because now Jesus is safe. Jesus is the healer. Now Jesus the healer. Jesus is the baptizer nah, Jesus into the Holy Spirit. Now nah, Jesus the baptized person before the Holy Spirit. Tonight Jesus is going to touch you. This night Jesus will touch you. Come on, say Amen to Make you talk Amen for that one. We're going to worship the Lord. We're going to worship God. And then I'm going to ask you to be quiet. 
after I want to make give quiet, maybe talk anything. And in the quietness of your own heart, as you don't go quiet for inside your mind, you're going to do what Jesus told us to do. You're going to do what Jesus told us to do. You're going to ask. You're going to ask something. This is very simple. It is simple. You know how. You don't have to cry. You don't need to go to cry. You don't have to beg. You don't need to go to beg. You're not a beggar. You don't beg, 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 you know. You're a son. You're a daughter of the king. You'll be the king, boy, girl for the king. It's your right to ask. Now your own right to go collect and go ask and go collect. In fact, listen to me. Make you listen as I When you ask for the Holy Spirit, when you ask the Holy Spirit, eh? you are doing what He told you to do. He did do what He did make you do. It's called the promise of the Father. Then they call and promise the Father don't give. He already promised to give it. He don't get the promise and go give you to those that ask. For those people they ask them. And so you're gonna ask tonight in faith. Let me say you got faith. Go Not like a beggar. Let me say be beggar. Like a son and a daughter of God. Say be picking boy and girl of God. And then you're going to get ready. You can't get, you can't get ready. Because it's coming. Because they come. And this is what's going to happen. See what's going to happen here. In a moment, not now, but in a few minutes. It's that time. Maybe now. It's that small time. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and lift your hands. I'm going to make you close your eyes. You can't get up your hands. Not now. In a moment. Maybe now. It's that small time. And then I'm going to ask you to shout hallelujah. Then I'll come to you and you shout hallelujah. And we are going to shout the mightiest hallelujah that has ever gone from Africa to heaven. We're going to shout the hallelujah we big pass. We don't come from Africa to heaven. We're going to make the ground shake with our praises. We're going to make the ground come shake because of the praise of the praise. And I don't want you just to shout one little hallelujah and then look around. I know I make you just shout one hallelujah. I'm going to look everywhere. I want you to keep shouting hallelujah. May you to the south. Keep praising Jesus. Keep worshiping the Lamb of God. May you worship God's Lamb. Keep praising him with all of your heart. And as you worship him, as they worship and they go, as you praise him, they praise they go, suddenly you will realize something is happening. One time you consider something to happen. You are no longer praying in any language that you know. For any language you understand. You begin to pray in other tongues as the spirit gives utterance. You will use on that tongue to talk as the spirit they make you the And you will never be the same again. I know the way we did again. You will all be filled with the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit will come fill you. Do you understand? You understand what I talk? Are you ready for you this? Ready for this one. Come on, let's sing. I am going to sing. Hallelujah. Lift your voice to him and sing. Worship you. God, do they worship you?
love your presence. We like your presence always. The Lord in our hearts. With our hearts. We say yes. We talk yes. Lord, we come to you as you commanded us. Now, God, we come to you the way you thought people come to you. To collect upon your promise. To come collect your promise then. Fill us. Make it full of Make it full of Fill God. us. Make it full of us. Come on, ask him. Say, Lord, fill me. Make it tell him, make it Say, full Father, you. fill me. Make it put on where we're I'm your body. son. I'm your daughter. I'm your picking. Fill me with your Holy Ghost. Make it guide your Holy Ghost. Fill, fill me. me with your glory. Make it full me with glory. Fill me with your fire. Make it guide the fire full Fill me with your anointing. Make it anointing full me. Fill me to overflowing. Make it full me today. Go pour. I receive it now. And they collect that now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I tell you, the Holy Spirit is here. He's ready. Are you ready? You don't get it. Are you ready? You don't get it. If you're ready to receive, in the name of Jesus, close your eyes. If you in the name of Jesus, close your eyes. If you want to receive in the name of Jesus, make it close your eyes. And if you're ready to receive in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. If you don't get it to receive in the name of Jesus, make it close up your hand. And now, in the name of Jesus, shout your hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, make you shout your hallelujah. Gifts, 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 
Now in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every demonic spirit of infirmity. Now in the name of Jesus, I de command any spirit to enter his sickness. I break your power and command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. I de break your power. Every spirit is lifting off of you right now. Spirits of epilepsy, get out in Jesus' name. Spirits of madness and lunacy and insanity, get out in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb spirits, leave in Jesus' name. You will come back to your right mind right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. Make you heal in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you right now that every blood disease is being healed. But I thank you, say any disease today for blood. They I speak to those with HIV positive. And they talk to those people get HIV positive. And I command it to turn right now into HIV negative. And I say, make it turn now. In the to name negative. of Jesus. Amen. Your blood is being healed right now Your in blood Jesus' name. Heal now now in Jesus name. Your heart is being healed right now in Your Jesus' heart name. Your now, now in Jesus' name. Your kidney stones are disappearing right now Your in Jesus' name. Your stomach ulcers are lifting right now in Jesus' name. Every tumor is disappearing right now in Jesus' name. Your blind eyes are opening right now in Jesus' name. Open in the name of Jesus. Open in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that every eye disease is leaving right now. Thank you, say any disease is for eye. They come Be healed of glaucoma in Jesus' name. Be they heal nana in Jesus' name. Be healed of cataracts in Jesus' name. Be healed for cataracts. Make it come out in Jesus' name. Be healed of every. Tumor of the eye in Jesus' name. Any tumor ready for eye, they heal in Jesus' name. Every injury of the eye is being healed right now. Any wound ready for eye, they heal now. You will see perfectly in Jesus' name. You will see well, finish in Jesus' name. 2020 vision in the name of Jesus. No man, no man in Jesus' name. I command every deaf ear to open right now. You need to hear, make you hear now in Jesus' name. Deaf ears, you will hear the word of the Lord. You need to hear, make you hear God's word. Open in Jesus' name. Make you open in Jesus' name. Every form of cancer is being healed right now. Any kind of cancer with your body, make I you cancer now. to get out of your body. Cancer make you come out from your body. That cancer is leaving you right now. Cancer leaving you right now. now. There's now. some of you that have give, been given a death sentence. From the death sentence, I go die. I command that cancer is going to die. I tell you, the cancer go die. But you are going to live. But you go there alive. And you are going to declare the wonders of the Lord. You go to talk better, better. In the God name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Every virus is leaving you right Any now. Any virus they come off your body now. Every harmful bacteria is leaving you right Any now. Any bad bad thing they your body. Every infection is leaving you right now. Every parasite is leaving you right now. Every fever is breaking right now. Every, break now. Every open wound is closing right now. Every broken bone is mending right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Make you heal in Jesus' name. Your heart disease. I speak to your heart. I talk to your heart. You're receiving a heart transplant right now. Did they carry another heart for your heart? A heart transplant from heaven. Did they carry hearts from heaven for your own? Now, be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Turn him up, please. Make you honor now. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Make you heal now, now in Jesus' name. Your stomach ulcers are leaving you. 
pain for inside belly they come out. All of that pain is leaving you. All the pain they come out. That back pain is leaving you. Pain for back they come out. That head pain is leaving you. Pain for head they come out. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I see someone that has crooked feet. I did somebody to say a leg bent. Your, your right foot is twisted around. Your right leg is bent like that. I command that foot to straighten out right now Make in that Jesus' leg name. Straight now, now in Jesus' name. Breast cancer is being healed right now all cancer over this breast, place. They for the whole place in Jesus I command name. all breast cancer to leave right now in Jesus' name. All the breast cancer, make it come out now, now in Jesus' name. That lump is vanishing in Jesus' name. The lump it disappear in Jesus' name. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Make healed in Jesus' name. There's someone here, you have a child who is mute. You get picking, you get person be say they yeah, you get picking when they talk. Your child has never spoken before. You never talked before. Tonight your child is gonna speak. This night you go talk. I command that tongue to be loosened right now I in say, Jesus' that tongue name. Open now, now in Jesus name. Tongue be loosened right now in Jesus' tongue, name. Make it open in Jesus name. Ears be open right now. Yeah, make it open now. You now. will hear, you will speak you in, go, yeah, Jesus you go name. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There's glory on this field. Look at for this field. Some of you need to reach out and take that miracle. Some of you need to and that miracle. You need to take it by faith. It's hanging right here. They hang now, now. It's right here. It's right here. Power of God is coming over your body right now. God, power the entire your body now, now. Some of you feel it like a heat. Some of you they feel it like a heat. How many of you feel heat? Wave at me. I'm not going to feel heat. Make it wave so me. Some of you feel it like an electric tingling all over your body. I can't say it, but it's more small, small. I thank you, Lord, that that healing virtue is going like a heat-seeking missile right to the point of that sickness. God, I thank you, say, that healing power. Don't they and destroying like, it right now in Jesus, name. That in, now in Jesus' name. I rebuke I every demonic sickness in the name of Any Jesus. Sickness, a demon, I come in Jesus' name. Mysterious diseases are being healed. This is where people don't understand. They can't get healing now. Undiagnosable sicknesses are being healed. Something that no go feel sick, they can't get healing now. Terminal illnesses be healed. Something that no go feel understand. In the mighty now. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If there is a dead body within the sound of my voice, you get person don't die with hear my voice. Oh. I speak to you right now in Jesus' name. I talk to you now, now in Jesus' name. I command life to return to you now in the I name of Jesus. I say life enter you now in Jesus' name. Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth! Make come back in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fertility problems are being healed right now. Fertility problems are going you now. You're going to have a child in Jesus' name. You go get in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Waste pain is pain. leaving you. Pain for waste they come out. Limited mobility in your limbs is going right now. If you do some kind of thing for your body, they come your shoulders now. being healed. That rotator cuff is being healed your right now. Shoulder for the cover, don't they heal now? You're going to be able to move your arms. You're move your hand Try it. Now. Check it right now. It second, your arms are being healed right your now. Your shoulders are being healed right now. Your shoulder, they get healed now. joint pain is leaving you right now. Pray for your body, they come, they heal now, now. Strength is coming into you right Spaghetti now. They enter you now, now. I declare over you in Jesus' name, you I will mount up with wings like eagles. I talk to you, say for now in Jesus' name, go get wings like you eagles. You will run and not be weary. You go to run and not go tired. You will walk and not faint. You go to walk and not go fall. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's someone you have a fracture on your right forearm. You get better be say you get something unspoiled for your right hand. A fracture on the right forearm, very painful. They pain you. Be healed right now in Make Jesus' you name. Now, now in Jesus' name. To someone you have terrible infections in your teeth. 
You get somebody who says some kind of bad bad things up on your thighs your teeth. Those teeth are being fixed right now. Now they see the supernaturally now. healed in the name yeah, of Jesus. Heal now. You're not going to understand in Jesus' name. I release creative miracles all over this place. I, I command place. missing body parts to grow back so right no, now. They make it enter now in missing Jesus fingers name. grow right now. Think I mean, no, they make it missing now. hands grow right and now. We know they make it grow now. Missing organs be recreated right now. now. Creative now. miracles in make Jesus' name. Jesus so in Jesus name. All over this place. Everywhere for this place. There's someone you have terrible pain in your tailbone. Somebody get pain with it for your back. So you painful you, you have difficulty sitting down. You need to sit down well. They had you. Right now that tailbone is being healed now in that Jesus bone name. They heal in Jesus name. And Lord I thank you that for all of these sicknesses. Those that I have named and those that I have not named. God, I thank you for all this sickness. Then the one I don't call and the one I never call. The healing is flowing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, now, in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you receive your healing, I want you to shout a mighty amen. If you don't call it again, you make it first shout in a repeat. Now, there's one more thing I want you to do. Listen carefully. Right now, I want you to test yourself. I want you to do something you couldn't do before. Do something you couldn't do before. Do something you couldn't do before. If you couldn't lift your arm, lift it now. If you lift your hand, make it lift them up. If you couldn't bend, bend now. If you bend, make it bend now. If you were in a wheelchair, get out and walk right now. If you came on crutches, lift those crutches over your head and walk. If you brought someone who is blind or deaf, I want you to test them now. If you can't mess with if you are a mother and you have that mute, deaf child that I was talking about, test the child right now. You'll make an amazing discovery. All over this place, Jesus has done mighty things. How many of you can feel it that in your body something has just changed? Let me see your hands. Okay, put your hands down. Let me make it very clear. If you have just been healed, there is no question something has physically changed inside your body. Wave at me so I can see where you are. I'm inviting those of you that have been healed to come forward right now. Come to my right hand side. Come to this banner that says testimonies. I want to hear what Jesus has done for you. you. I want to shake your hand and bless you. I want to shake your hand and bless you. Come, sister, stand right here. Tell me what was wrong with you, sister. I've come because of my son when no way attack the war since. So as we come here yesterday, they pray, they pray, they say healing, and they pray for that, my son. Surprisingly, they say pray, pray, pray. Then I carry him put for my stomach like this. I pray for this five brother. Don't worry me for 24 years since I born finish. If you are the worker, I they use tissue they put inside my private. Without that, I can't walk. I know feel sharp. I know feel do everything. It's one thing I don't tire. But yesterday, as then they pray now, if you like say something, come drop for my leg. She, I said, if you like say I don't heal, you. now I shift to go for more the tissue. Say I go see something. As they say, come do, come thank God for what thing God do. I say I know feel. Make I go hard. So since that yesterday, I never put tissue till now. So that I carry everything, nothing. So I pray. I have been too much. Say for 24 years, I they use tissue. They say I go do operation. I no get money. That's why they worry. Anytime I go come out, I will put tissue. I no feel run. I no feel shot as I they shot jump. I go tired. Okay, hold on, Mama. Hold on. Tell me what happened. She said she was praying for a child that was sick. Why she was praying for a child that was sick. Okay. So why she was doing that? She remember that she had five blood. So and she used to put tissues, toilet rolls. When did this happen? How long? Twenty-four yeah, years now. Yeah, when did this? Ha- when is she talking? about this happened last well, night. Yesterday night. Yesterday night. Yesterday. Yeah. So she was praying. She was believing God that the tissues, the toilet rolls, she used to use to hold the blood and assist it from not um, going haywire. She she was praying and believing that everything will go right. So that, yesterday night she discovered that something has happened, but she did not believe. She said, let her go home first and confirm. <laughs> and she did, went to the house. She did not use to let go. She has been strong. Everything has been in order. She is strong. She is here now. She came to testify. Hallelujah. She can shout. She can jump. Amen. Is there any more pain, mama? Oh, no pain. No pain. I'm okay. I pain, can no shout. Day, day. I can jump. Hallelujah. You go fish. Yes, I... Come on. Let's dance. Let's shout. Let's rejoice. Come on, worship team. Happy. We want to okay. praise the Lord tonight. We want to praise God this okay. night. Come on, mama. Let's do it. <laughs>
dance away with. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Amen. Mama, let me ask you a question before you go. Make I ask a question before you go. Do you know who has healed you? You know who don't heal you. Now go do. Hallelujah. I want you to tell her the name of the one that is healed. Shout it out. Make it out and where where. Jesus. Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you for healing this precious woman. I bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you, Mama. Go this way. Let you go like this. Stand here, sister. What was wrong with you? What's in the walk you? I have lumps in my stomach. And Osta, and the lumps cover my chest. I cannot breathe. I cannot touch my stomach. I cannot touch my chest since the year 2014. And I, yesterday, as you, as you, you were praying, the Lord touched me, and I can see. I can step. I can press my stomach. I can jump. I can do anything. I can press. It. The Lord has gone. Everything has gone. I'm healed. And God has healed me today. I'm okay. I'm healed. And I'm very, very happy today. Oh, it's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. All I know. He's a great, great God. He's a great God. He's a great, great God. All I know. Pray. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so, Mama, how long have you had these lumps? Since five years. Five, five years. years? Yes. And were they paining you? Yes. Did they pain you, they go. Um, yes. I cannot touch my stomach. I cannot bend. Can't touch your I stomach. I was taking many types of drugs. No. How many, how many lumps did you have? Do you know? How many have been there for your body? No. Here and here, even my chest. Now, nah, nah, yes. So, now nah, I can touch my stomach. No problem. No problem yes. again. No, no. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for touching this woman. I bless her in Jesus' name. God bless you, sister. Go in peace. Stand right here. Stand from here. Tell me what was wrong with you, sister. What's it wrong with my sister? Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He a Christian is a very sweet thing. I was a Muslim. To become Christian, na better thing. I be Muslim before. So my testimony go like this. When you are a Muslim, if you don't know your God, because you don't, you don't serve God. Now I serve the lily God, which is Jesus Christ. I deserve God, whether I life, whether name not Jesus Christ. Then I title myself Evangelist Victoria Destiny. I can't give myself title Evangelist Victoria Destiny. I came to this ground with a waist pain. I can't stand long. I've been carrying waist pain. Come this ground. I know you stand for plenty when of time. When I came yesterday, there is a two a, a guy a guy sits down and a lady. When I stand, I dance. Before I sit down, I hold your hand to sit down. Yesterday, when I can't dance more, if I can't sit down, I can't hold your hand before I come and sit down. Before I come to this place, I had a dream that a child suck my breast. Before I come to this place, I be thinking, say, Pekin, come suck my breast then. When the child suck my breast, these two breasts begin to swell up as, as if I'm pregnant. When they begin to suck my breast, the two breasts come to swell up like, say, I get belly. I got hospital. They told me that nothing is wrong with me, and I'm feeling pains in I, my breast. I can't go to hospital. They can't tell me, say, nothing they do me, but people in different inside my breast. Sisters and brothers. My people. I am here today to tell Jesus thank you. I don't come here to God tell Jesus this thank you. This is the same breast that I can't touch. Now that same breast I know if it touched before. This is the same breast I can't bend. That way I know if it bend before. Now I can bend. I can't stand. Now I can't bend. I will not stand here. I want to tell that God of Christ and thank you, Jesus. I want to tell my Jesus thank you. So you have no more pain in your body. Not pain in your body again. It's gone from your waist. No, it's gone from your breast. It's gone from your breast. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for this miracle. I, thank you for this I miracle. bless the sister in Jesus, name. in Jesus' name. God bless you, sister. Go in peace. I, I, I heard that you were a policeman. Is I asked to be a policeman, not to go. <clears throat> yes, I'm a police officer. I, I was serving at uh, Meduguri and, uh, since 2009 to 2017. I involved in a bomb blast on 14th of February 2014. Where which a bomb blast? A bomb blast. Bomb what, what did it do to you? What did it think come to you? Bomb blast. We were involved in a bomb blast, and it, it affected this hand, this hand, my teeth, and my uh, spinal cord. And what was wrong with you now? There was pain. Pain. You. I could not be able to play like this. You never feel pain like this before. I've been having pains. Pain be the pain. You never feel the way you do now. 
Get away only, you go feed you. I can do everything now. You go feed everything now. Yes. You go feed you like this. You can do what in soldier, policeman, they do. Pain. So, pain I'll be again. having pains, I'll be having pains, but as you are praying, you said we should check around where we are having pains. I check. There's no pain. I, what I could not be able to do before I started doing it, I, I said I, I have to come out and testify. In talk say, pain being there. But in body bags, they come say make a check. They look for that thing you know if you do before. They come they do them. They come say go feed. Did you know that Jesus can even heal injuries from bomb blasts? He knows that Jesus go feed him to me. We come from bomb. We serve a mighty God. There is nothing too hard for him. No get with it. No go feed too. And so, sir, there's no more pain. So pain in your body. This is so wonderful. I bet that is so. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. I'm here to return all the glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for this miracle. I bless my brother in Jesus' name. I thank you for this God bless you, sir. Bless Go this way. In Jesus name. Come. What was wrong with you, sister? What's the wrong with my sister? Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God for his perfect healing upon my life yesterday. I have an asthmatic attack for five years now, since 2018, and I was not born with it, but I don't know how come. I've been getting asked my way on so, attack uh, since 2000, and, uh, since I know they're not born with me. I've been treating it, going from one hospital to another. I've been treating it, they go one hospital to another hospital. Still, the thing is still there. It is still there. I've been praying, another man of God has been praying for I me. I don't the pray, they pray well. well. It is still there. But on Thursday, one of my colleagues told me about this program. On Thursday, my friend called me about the program. I find my way here. I come and so come here. not direct me the play, but I find my way I here. I come find my way here. I will not see people coming down here. And yesterday, when he said that we should do what we cannot do before. Yesterday, when he told me to do what we cannot do before. And I don't take water and I don't bathe cool water. And they, For example, as this crowd is now, when I'm inside, I will just... Breathing Normally, if I didn't say crowd, I'm not going to be too well. And now I even came with my drawers since that yesterday. When I went home, I took cold water and I drank it. I bathed cold water. In fact, I did what I couldn't do before. And I even came with my drawers today, should in case the thing attack me. But to the glory of God, since that yesterday to now, I'm okay, nothing. And I said, God, thank you. Leave me pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, sister. I want you to do this for me. I want you to run there and run to the end and come back to me. Go. Make you go, and go, that go side. ahead. Go back. Run, to, run to there. Turn around. Make come on. Come back. come back. Run to that side. Make you go, and go that side. And run back to me. Make you go, and come back with me. Stand right here. Make you stand here. Now take a deep breath. Make you breathe. Go inside. How is it? How you do you feel? Okay. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for touching my sister. Thank you, don't touch my sister. I thank you that she will never have another attack again in Jesus' name. She will get another attack again God bless in Jesus' name. Go God bless you, my sister. Ah, oh, come stand right here. Will you stand here? So I heard that you're the one that had the broken arm. I asked that your hand had been broken. Yes, sir. Tell me what was wrong with it. What did you mean? I fell on this hand about seven years ago. You on, get, a, get a close shot of this arm. Look, Look at that scar. So you fell on this arm how many years ago? About seven, seven, years, seven years, ago. years ago. And it was, it was, you had a fracture or what? Exactly. It broken, come complete, come broken. Come and, and what happened now? What's going happen now? I was, I, just a few minutes I arrived here when you were announcing somebody on a broken hand. And I was holding my hand like this. So eventually I received my healings and I'm just okay. No more pain. Pain no day again. Just okay, I can, and what is this? What is what this? this? This is my cap. I just bought the cap it's now. Cap. Okay. I just bought Your this. Cap. Very nice cap. Let my me see. Cap. Hallelujah. See, fan cap. See, see, that's me right there. Now, me did for that side. Hallelujah. Amen. So, all the pain is gone. All the pain now, I come, come on, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, talk, thank thank you, you Jesus. Jesus. Please follow me and thank Jesus for doing so well for me. Lord, I thank you for to healing my brother. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Go this way in peace. Go in peace. Okay. You know, Jesus is healing many ulcers and fibroids and tumors here. Jesus is healing ulcer, fibroid and tumors for this place. If you night. have a fiber and ulcer, a fibroid, an ulcer, a tumor, 
it's leaving you right now in Jesus name. If you get five God, answer or tomorrow. You don't your body now in Jesus name. Sister, what was wrong with you? My sister, they me worry you. I was having ulcer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been get I was ulcer. having ulcer since five years. Well, the thing get since five years in that the thing just get get worse. So reaching 2016, I couldn't get myself. I was vomiting. When I vomit, I vomit blood. I went to the hospital. They carried me around the whole protocol, about four hospitals for this river stage. Whenever, wherever I go, I spent two weeks. They will say they, they refer me to another hospital. So since then, you know, I was taking drugs morning and night, morning and night. I couldn't eat peppery food. I can't eat some things that is beans. I don't used to eat it. Pepper soup, I don't used to eat it. So since they started this crusade, I said I will, I will be here. So since then, I was here. So yesterday, the woman of God is saying that check yourself, check yourself. I said, no, I will not give my testimony. See, I'll check myself very well. I will come and testify. So yesterday, I get home, I take pepper soup rice. I tested it, but was, before that, I don't used to test pepper soup rice. See, yesterday, I test pepper soup rice. And this morning, see, even when I went to sleep, I will make a come and keep. Early morning, around 6 o'clock, I will take it. Because they say I have to be eating. That anything that has gone to chronicle, they say it's chronical ulcer. That anything that has gone to chronicle, that does not have cure. That's what doctor told me. I said, every morning I used to take a camel. Early, earlier at 6 o'clock, I used to take a camel. But this morning, I was here. Already at 5, 6 o'clock. Since we, man of God preach, you pray, I go back, I didn't feel any pains. My, I was free. I didn't feel any pains. I was healed totally. My chest is not burning me any longer. I was totally free. I said today I will stand here and testify the goodness of God in my life. Let me and glorify the Lord because God is great. God is forgiveness. God is great mercy upon his children. I know that God has healed me. He will heal you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, you are a good preacher. Is that a preacher where well? Lord, I thank you for touching this sister. Thank you, so don't touch this I sister. thank you that this ulcer will never return. This ulcer will come back again. And that she will preach your word. And she will preach your word. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus name my God bless you, sister. Go this way. God bless way. you, my sister. Make you go back. Come. Stand here. Make you stand for here. What was wrong with you? What did you mean you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It all started last year. I was kidnapped. You were kidnapped? Yes. They kidnapped you. And what happened? What did you happen? Well, they took us into the forest for two weeks. We were in the forest, no food, no nothing. But Jesus brought me back after that 14th day. The 14th day, that is when I was released. I came out. And all the while, a month and two weeks, I was in the hospital. And my knees, my legs, I got infection. And after the, they discharged me, I've been at home and I couldn't walk. But God, as the days goes by, I'm getting healed. I couldn't even stand for long. Or even one hour I can't stand. But I just want to give this God the glory. When the program started, I was there. From the one I stood, from 3 o'clock till the 9 that we closed, I was standing. I just want to thank God. Even yesterday, I stand today. I also stand. My news, we are okay. I'm free because... Yesterday, when you say we should lay our hands on wherever we have pains, I put my hand on my knees, and God healed me. I saw my knees no more shaking. Before, my knees would be shaking. But now, my knees cannot shake. It's all okay. I'm here to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mama, is there any pain left in your knees? Any no, pain. All gone. Your leg. No pain. No pain. pain. No day. Come on, bend your legs. Make you bend your leg. Pain, no day. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, I thank you for this miracle. Amen. I bless Amen. this woman. They bless you in woman. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus God bless you, sister. Go in peace. May we go inside peace. Okay, another one. And that one, sister. Day. What was wrong with you? What did they worry you? For two years, I've been having breasts. I felt lumps in my breast. I thought maybe it was reproduction or men's shopping because I'm I'm very young I'm in my um, late teens and I kept quiet about it I didn't I know my mom she can be very worrisome she would cry she would she would do a lot of things and I didn't want that so I was really scared then I was scared of cancer so I just 
kept it to myself. And it went on for months and months and months turned into years. And then two years, and the program went on the first day. My mom was like, she's going. I'm like, okay, fine, you can go. I don't really, I'm not bothered. And then yesterday, my siblings said they are coming. Are you guys, I'm not going anywhere. And then today, I'm like, okay, let, let's just try it. And then I came today, and after prayers, immediately, after, not really after, because I, I, I was singing hallelujah. After that, we kept quiet, and then I was crying, and I felt heat in my breast, and I was like, wait, what's happening? And the next thing, I couldn't feel those lumps. I was like, wait, you might be tricking yourself. Like, you wish for this so much, so you're tricking yourself. I had to put my hands under my bra and actually check and recheck. And I was like, should you testify? Should you go home? My, my spirit told me, if you don't testify, this thing's going to return. So I had to come and declare it, and I had to come and make it public. And I want to bless God. And I, if you're under the influence of my voice and you doubt sin, please, I beg you, if your spirit is telling you, even if it's a little voice telling you, come tomorrow, just, just trust that voice. Even if you hate it tomorrow, it's fine. Blame me. But just come tomorrow. Thank you very much. I just want to bless God. Bless Hallelujah. You. Amen. So, so no more lump, no more pain. No pain, pain again for no. your Totally lump again. gone. You don't yeah. go and finish. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I bless my sister and I, I thank you for sister. this mighty miracle. God bless you, sister. Go in God peace. Me, go in Are you happy tonight? You're happy this night. Now listen to me. If you have not yet received your miracle, don't worry. Many of you will be healed before you wake up in the morning. Many of you will be healed as you walk home tonight. And I'll pray for the rest of you tomorrow. Those of you that are in line, be the first ones in line tomorrow night. We will hear your testimony. For the rest of you, I'll pray for you tomorrow. We have one more day here together. And mighty things are in store for us. I'm asking everyone to stop moving. Make everybody stop to the waka. We want to pray together. Stop moving. Close your eyes. Make you close your eye. 